We're with Scott Bogner of Digital Aquatics. It's one of my favorite booths here at MACNA. How's it going? How's it going? I want to see what's new. I want to know what's going on here. What's with the tank? Well, what we're displaying here is our Tunzi pump controller. It's a new product that we're releasing, um, and it's going to control up to four different Tunzi pumps. That they're stream pumps that are controllable. It will allow you to do wave makers. We have, we're showing here a standing wave, similar to a lot of other pump displays, but it, now you can be integrated with our ReefKeeper control system, either the ReefKeeper Lite or the ReefKeeper Elite. All right, so what else you got? Keep showing me new stuff. I want to hear the latest. Absolutely, absolutely. We're also going to be coming out here in the next few months with a dedicated LED driver, which is going to have four 0 to 10 volt ports on it for all the new DIY LED systems. And again, that'll be able to be integrated with your ReefKeeper Elite or your ReefKeeper Lite system. Backwards compatible. Absolutely, absolutely. Everything we're coming out with is going to be backwards compatible with both systems. So the other new thing that we're really excited about is our Salinity Pro. We launched it about a year ago, and as many people know, we had to pull it from the market. We weren't happy with the response overall. The new probe that we've been working on now has been in test for quite a while, and it's a really, it's a real creative way to measure salinity. We're still using the standard um, millivolts. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, no, not millivolts. We're actually doing um, air conductivity, but we're, when we're measuring. Um, we're using titanium blades on it instead of the standard, whether it's platinum banded or graphite probes, which tend to fail over time. So we're using a really, uh, a really new technique for doing it, and we're also it's going to be temperature compensated as well. It sounds robust. Uh, it's going to be extremely robust. Um, the titanium or the platinum banded probes you're going to find are actually usually banded around a glass probe, and and then sometimes protected by a plastic probe. Those are still very fragile. Um, and the graphite probes that are out there do not last over time. And so titanium probes are actually going to be much more robust and they'll last over time. And so again, we're really excited about it. And we do the temperature compensation on board the probe. Okay, and then really quick, because I'm all about the web, I want to hear about the web software. Where are we at on that? So our, our new internet, or our internet module is getting a new firmware update for 2.0. And what that's going to allow you to do is you're going to be able to log on, turn channels on and off, or go back to auto, which runs the program you have. It will also uh, send you emails, which is pretty standard. Uh, we also have long-term data graphing now. So all that's going to be uh, available in the net module, and it's a free upgrade like all of our other firmware upgrades. From your website? From our website, absolutely. Uh, digitalaquatics.com. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely.